Well, hello, friends. Fancy meeting you here. It's Sammy. I'm back with another episode of The Daily Dash. Today is Thursday, September 4th, 2014. Can you believe it? So I'm on the dash again today. I'm on the road. I should get my seat up a little. I'm so sorry. My husband said I drive like a teenager, and I just, I don't like sitting straight up when I drive. I feel so like, I don't know. But I guess for video purposes, it's a little better. I won't recline so much. So, hey, what's up? I am on my way to Lipscomb University. My students are doing their first graded speeches today. I cannot wait because it's a true test for me as a teacher <laughs> to see if I've communicated well about my expectations. And plus, I just love getting to see people doing something they didn't think they could do or to see where they've progressed even over these past few weeks. So it's very exciting for me. Uh, I also get to see my son's first football practice, well, my first football practice scene of my son. So that's tonight. And my husband leaves today for Momentum in Orlando. Can you believe that we are not going to Orlando with him? Crazy. I know. I, I'm still shocked at myself. I was considering driving down with the kids, but... I had to get back into my realistic side and realize that just isn't a smart move. So we are not going, but we've got all sorts of fun stuff planned. Okay, so what else is going on in the news today? I'll save the sports for a second. I've got some sports news coming up, but uh, we've got, I had mentioned yesterday, the third American uh, contracted Ebola. Again, another aid worker with Samaritan's Purse who went over really to um, help where the two other American Americans who'd contracted it were before too. So just amazing. These people that are really running into the fire, so to speak. Um, Vice President Biden had some very strong words towards ISIS. So people have been kind of on the fence about where Obama stands. Biden just knocked that out of the park saying that they're going to follow them to the gates of hell because that's where they belong. So no mints in those words. Uh, what else is going on? I feel like there's things that I'm forgetting now because I'm driving and I don't have notes in front of me. But um, I will say, you can see there's, I've got all the important things down here on the notes. But I've got news about football. Football starts tonight. NFL season kicks off. Seahawks versus Packers. Super Bowl champs taking on the Green Bay Packers as a Bears fan. Can't say that I'm cheering for the Cheesehead. So... That's all I'm going to say about that. And U.S. Open continues. Nishikori, who I had projected to get to where he was against Warinka, but then I thought Warinka was going to win, and they were in this, like, epic battle. I don't know how long the match was, like three, four hours. Anyway, Nishikori pulled it out. Djokovic and Murray I did not even stay awake for last night. I wish I could have. But Patrick McEnroe is stepping down from the head of USTA Player Development an American man has not won a major, a Grand Slam, since 2003. So we really need, not like I can help you with that, but I guess feeling the heat, they need to step that up for USA Tennis. But I'm excited to see where things go. I still have Serena winning the whole thing. She's my only player left in my bracket that I'm doing with my friend Aaron, home with the boys. So Serena's at, and then I had everyone picked right for... Uh, the men's draw. Now it's falling apart a little bit. So we'll see. I'm still hoping Federer pulls it out. Williams and Federer we'll see this weekend up at Flushing Meadows in New York. U.S. Open, you can still bring me out there. I'm happy to commentate for you if you need me. I would sacrifice to do that. So that's all I've got going on. I'm going to keep driving to Lipscomb and I hope you really have a great day and I want to hear what you're doing today. So leave a comment below whether you're on YouTube or whether you're on SammyCone.com. Leave a comment and let me know what you're doing that's really cool today. I want to hear about it. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Maybe I'll uh, mention you guys tomorrow in my daily dash. Bye!